from the beginning of the season, that's what we want to do. Come off a good season, we have more challenges. Obviously, he's the head coach of the varsity and he's teaching us good stuff, and uh, we're doing good. We had a pretty good game. I got made when I get a lot of shooting time before practice and stuff like that. Because it's, really, it's in our home court, so I get a lot of time to shoot before the game. So I felt pretty warmed up. Yeah, we just got to keep playing our good, solid D. And if we can keep doing that, I think we're going to do good. We're going to make a run, I think. That was our first goal this season. Split hard throughout the you know the entire season, all 32 minutes of every game, and win the GR title. Then we wanted to go from there in the sectionals, and hopefully in the states that would be awesome. That's our goal this year. I think we're still dominant. He's a great player. Um, he's always tough on the boards and in the post. He has a nasty spin move, which I've never seen before from anyone else. Is good. So um, we just I was supposed to front the whole game, and I had a couple over the top to swap the ball when they threw it over. And we just tried doing that the whole game. He got the ball up top a few times, made you know that spin moving after the fold a few times, but just try to get in the way, take some charges, and stop. Him. That's the main thing. I'm not sure. I just got hot in the second, I guess. But my teammates gave me some awesome assists in the post, and I just capitalized off of it. Um, when they get the ball in the post to me, I have to kick it out to them, get some open threes and open twos, and that's our game. Get the ball inside and see where it goes from there. Well, Showdown's going to be fun this weekend. Akron's the top team in Section 6 in their, their B2 class, and they're just playing great basketball right now. Um, Coach wanted to see him up against Elvin, I think. JC Treader and the Short Brothers are phenomenal players. I played with him in AAU, and he is just a beast in the post, Treader, I mean. And it's going to be tough, but we're hopefully just going to go play our game and hopefully come out with a win. Hopefully. Um, from, from day one, from our first practice, we talked about um, one game at a time, and, and, and we really stuck through that you know, throughout the season. Um, I'm really proud of the kids because um, of the effort they put on that defensive end, and you know, from day one we said, if we're going to do anything this year, we're going to do it from the defensive end and off the boards. And uh, for the most part, we've been doing that pretty well game in and game out. Uh, we've had some lulls, but it's a long season, and you know, um, sometimes you know you, you got those ups and downs. But uh, for the most part, uh, I'm excited for the kids because uh, they earned it, and um, you know it's been fun so far. But we got a lot ahead of us. You know, now we uh, our our whole intention for you know in getting ready for the game tonight was to front Kenny and get help across every single time. Um, Smitty's supposed to stand. Why I thought Smitty did a great job on, on on Drew, and when I had to, you know, give him a breather, I thought Josh came in and did the same. So you know, we kept him off the glass because he's been, you know, rebounding like crazy. So we kept him off the glass, which you know I think you know helped us obviously. And um, um, you know, Kenny got a couple where we didn't get to help across quick enough, but for the most part, you know, Noah really battled on the boards and. Uh, you know, with Kenny, so it was a great defensive effort for everyone involved. The big thing about Timmy is when uh, you know on the kickouts with with uh, with Noah and on the reversals, uh, if he, if he said he can you know he can duel the three and he did that today. I'm not sure how many he had. He might have had three or so, but whatever it was, you know, obviously those were big shots. And I thought the bench came off and helped us a lot too. Uh, you know, uh, again defensively the bench and. Uh, Sammy had a few in the second half. Tambling had I think maybe five or seven in the first half. So. Um, you know, it was a whole team effort, and you know, it, it's a, it's a great prep for the for uh, sectionals, which I think was the intent when the two leagues got together and said, you know, let's let's give this a shot. Um, again, uh, starting this week, well, actually starting Sunday with practice, you know, we talked about Attica. We had Attica. We said it's going to be a big week, a big prep for sectionals. So we had Attica Monday. Obviously, this was big with uh, with with Pembroke again, and you know, there's no resting now because we had an Akron on Saturday. So. If you're talking about getting ready for sectionals, this is a heck of a week for us, you know, um, to do so. And uh, uh, Akron's a heck of a basketball team. I saw them twice, and uh, um, we have our hands full. So it'll be uh, Saturday should be fun.